Hello everyone, welcome to the Mongol Grill. So it has been 47 days since I put this ribeye, prime rib, in my dry aging cabinet. So today is the day that uh, I could cook this because of the better weather. And uh, I can't wait any longer. I already waited for 47 days. So let's go ahead and cut into this steak. So uh, I know this outside is going to be really tough because of the crust that has formed. But let's see how it's gonna look. I might have to cut a bit more actually. Well, to me, that looks super concentrated than the 31 day of dry aged ribeye. So um, I'm going to cut a little less, than, just about half an inch uh, thick size. And uh, after a couple pieces, that part is okay. Um, after a couple pieces, I'm going to put them on my charcoal barbecue and find out what they taste like. Yeah, there's a good amount of marbling. It is a, a good prime grade beef, but um, we'll see how the flavor is after we put it on the grill. So at this point, I'm going to cut the, uh, trim the edges, right? And that's where the heavy dry aging flavor um, is present. So based on how much you like the uh, dry aged, that what they call the funky flavor, if you like it more, you can trim less. If you like it less, you can trim more. That way you can adjust the flavor. So here's the thing. See this part here? I'm just gonna get this chunk um, out of here because this is just fat. What am I doing wrong here? Okay. Because uh, that part is just fat basically. Uh, we do have a good amount of shrinkage. I mean, this is really, really small. Uh, what I'm gonna be doing is um, we're going to wait for a little while until this gets a little uh, warmer and I put them all on the uh, grill. So after trimming, this is what I have uh, left. These are the pellicles, but what do we do with this? Like last time, we are not going to get rid of this. You make, you can make really great um, ground beef with this and with ground beef you make uh, hamburgers. So the hamburgers, tacos, uh, kefta, all the other kebabs, whatever you do. Uh, they become totally something else. Whatever you had before, you call that taco, you put this in, you're gonna call it something else. But it's gonna be a thousand times better than that. So I'm going to uh, do the same for these guys. And um, I can't wait anymore, guys. I mean, I have to put these uh, things on the grill. All right, my grill is ready. I'm gonna get this nice piece right on top of my barbecue. And if you hear that sizzling, that means you're doing a good job. Okay, I think we are ready to take this dude right off of here. And I'll give it just about a minute. And within a minute, we're gonna see this top filled with juice. It's already filling up. Look at that. Let me lift this up a little bit for you. Maybe you can see the juice is coming down, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and cut. Oh my God. I mean, All the connective tissues you normally would sort of feel with a ribeye, they're pretty much gone. I mean, you barely can feel it. And let's look inside. It's cooked medium well. And there's a tad bit pigments over there. And uh, I can totally handle that, that's fine. Um, I don't know, let me just rush a little bit more because I'm anxious to taste that. And I want to shoot something from right in the middle here. Look at that cap there, it wants to fall off, but I won't let you fall off, my friend. <clears throat> Beautiful. I mean, I don't, I don't know what I tell you, what I should tell you. Honestly, I was expecting a really funky flavor coming from the 47 day age, uh, 47 days of dry age. But this one tasted even better than the 31 days of dry aging. Um, 
I was really worried about uh, the amount of edible meat, let's say, the yield being a little too low, but um, the flavor definitely makes up for that lost piece, uh, lost meat volume. I mean, this is something that I could do probably every time. Um, I, this is like the desserts, dessert of meat. I mean, seriously, um, I, I think I might have just made Wagyu from prime rib right here in America. Well, cheers everyone and thanks for watching this video. So I'll see you with the next video. I'm trying to shoot it for 60 days, but depending on the weather, I might have to be a day early or late, but this one is definitely a success. Um, we'll see you at the next video, all right? I'm gonna go ahead with this. Bye.